This is Adventist News Update, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Andrea Musgrove. Coming up in the news, 45 singles are now free in Christ. Plans are on the way for the South Bahamas Conference Global Mission Center of Influence. 38 workers from the East Jamaica Conference visit our local conference and over 130 young people witness for Christ. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News Update. The Free in Christ Singles Summit 2012 was held May 4th to the 6th at the Super Club's Breezes on Cable Beach last weekend. 45 singles from the South Bahamas Conference and the Turks and Caicos Islands Mission met together in Christian Fellowship to focus on learning the skills and tools needed to become more effective singles in the Church of God. Guest presenter Andrea Hicks, former coordinator of Adventist Singles Adult Ministry, ASAM, and founder of Fellowship of Christians Unique and Single, Focus empowered the persons in attendance to give complete service to God. She introduced them to a movie called Single Creek, which was a vivid expression of the daily challenges singles face and how these individuals were able to overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit. At the summit, 33 persons were trained to become ASAM leaders through a 10-module course of certification. Additionally, they were the first in the world church to be trained by using this new instruction. All those that attended the the weekend were thankful for the spiritual rejuvenation and especially grateful for the opportunity to form lasting friendships. This is an annual event, so plan now for next year's conference. The Health and Youth Ministries Department joined forces recently for a healthier nation as they launched the Let's Move Bahamas initiative. Fitness expert Cassio Jones of 3ABN was the guest presenter for the event. At the Centerville Seventh-day Adventist Church on Sabbath morning, Jones reminded the congregation that as Christians, we are on a battlefield and that in order for us to do God's will, we need to be healthy. Jones said that the world has a misconception of the purpose of exercise. God needs people in every single position. You're a plumber, a teacher, a bus driver. You're called to a ministry. And he said, okay, Brother Jones, how does that have to do with health? It all works together. Because right. if you don't know your ministry, you don't know how to take care of yourself. At the official launch of the Let's Move Bahamas program, Sabbath afternoon at the Old Bahamas Academy gym, hundreds of persons gathered in spite of the inclement weather to move into an improved lifestyle. Youth choirs from a number of the churches in the conference gave inspiring musical selections. Cassio Jones got everyone moving in exercise. The launch is history, but we are all challenged now to stay moving and keep a record of the steps on your pedometers. Congratulations to Bahamas Academy seniors Earl Roberts and Kimoy Fung, who were honored recently at the 25th Annual Honors Convocation of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated at Government House. This event recognizes the best and brightest male graduates. Earl received the Valedictorian's Award of 15,000 in scholarship funds and a laptop computer. Kimoy was awarded an internship with a prestigious law firm on the island. The directors and staff of the East Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists paid a courtesy call on the president of the South Bahamas Conference while in Nassau from April 26th to the 30th. The 38-member delegation were here on a retreat at the Super Club's Breezes in Cable Beach. Led by its president, Pastor Adrian Cottrell, the group was given a tour of the South Bahamas Conference head office, including the new radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, and ATV 53 Studio. During their visit, 10 of the pastors and directors proclaimed claim the word of God to a number of our congregations throughout New Providence. The group was hosted to a luncheon where they were treated to great food and fellowship. The South Bahamas Conference takes a delight in adding to the evangelistic tourism of our beautiful Bahamas. On the weekend, the launch of the rebuilding of the Old Bahamas Academy campus on Wolf Road was held. This property would be the future site of the conference's Global Mission Center of Influence, GCMI. On the road to making the goal a reality, the site will be used for other immediate events, such as our annual camp meeting, community outreach programs, church socials, technical training, and other events designed to assist with the training and personal development of our members. Work continues daily on the grounds, and the next workday is scheduled for Sunday, May 20th. 
Well, this past weekend, the general elections were held in the Bahamas and all citizens were encouraged by the government to exercise their right to vote. Pastor Leonard Johnson, president of the Atlantic Caribbean Union Mission that covers the Turks and Caicos Islands, Cayman Islands and the Bahamas, addressed mixed views on whether Adventist Christians should vote. Unfortunately, there are some of our members who may be of the view that it is wrong and ungodly for Adventists or Christians to vote. But this is not the position of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. In fact, the Seventh-day Adventist Church takes just the opposite position. While it does not encourage members to become actively involved in politics in terms of siding and opposing and all of that, the position of the Seventh-day Adventist Church is that members should vote. In fact, let me read a portion of the official statement. We should participate in the voting process available to us when it is possible to do so in good conscience and should share the responsibility of building our communities. And then the statement I was uh, referring to earlier, Adventists should not become preoccupied with politics or utilize the pulpit or our publications to advance political theories. Furthermore, this official statement goes on to say, the people of God will recognize human government as an ordinance of divine appointment and will teach obedience to it as a sacred duty within its legitimate sphere. I wish to congratulate our newly elected Prime Minister, Perry Christie, and also his government. Pastor Paul Scavala, president of the South Bahamas Conference, addressed viewers in last week's broadcast of the president's report. He prayed for the country and its leaders and admonished the membership with these words. I just want to encourage the uh, citizenry of our country to put your trust in the Lord. Remember that God says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging for bread. Remember that not a sparrow falls to the ground without God knowing about it. Your very hairs on your head are numbered, and God cares for us. At the end of the day, we are all Bahamians. We have to live together, we have to work together, and we work for the betterment of our country. It's not just the responsibility of the politicians to make this country successful. This week, we will be celebrating the annual Adventist Book Day, Seventh-day Adventists from all over the Inter-American Division and here in the South Bahamas Conference will give books to persons they would like to see in the Kingdom of God. We all encourage to take someone special to church with us this weekend and present them with a book that will tell them more about Jesus Christ. And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, the Adventist Community Services Exhibition will be held at the New Bahamas Academy and Breath of Life Church Grounds on May 28th, which is Whit Monday, under the theme Sharing, Caring, Preparing. Registration forms and guidelines are available at the conference office, and the deadline is Monday, May 14th. The Public Affairs and Religious Liberty Department of the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church will be hosting a protocol training seminar on Sunday, May 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the church. All elders, deacons, deaconesses, and departmental leaders are invited to attend. A guest presenter will be Carlton Wright, retired permanent secretary of the Bahamas government. Eleven lifestyle educators from Uchi Pines Institute will visit Nassau on May 22nd to conduct training workshops for three weeks. They will share valuable health skills that will assist individuals in making a positive impact in our community. Each church is asked to register at least 10 persons in this summit. Participants can choose between day and evening sessions. A registration will take place at the South Bahamas Conference Head Office. The Atlantic Caribbean Union Mission will hold its second annual symposium on Wednesday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church on Tonic Williams Darling Highway right here in Nassau. The four field leaders of Akum, Pastors Cheyenne O'Connor, Errol Tinker, Paul Scavala, and Michael Smith, along with the new president of the Northern Caribbean University, Dr. Trevor Gardner, will present short video reports highlighting the achievements in these areas. President of Akum, Pastor Leonard Johnson, will present the charge, and Dr. Wendell McMillan, of the North Bahamas Conference will lead the devotions. Pastor Peter Kerr, Union Executive Secretary, said that at this media session, a major item on the agenda would be the Mission to the Cities Project, an urban evangelism initiative of the Adventist World Church. The goal of this initiative is to increase the outreach activities to the world's major cities. 
And in news from the North, the Adventist Educators Association of the North Bahamas Conference recently presented 300 copies of the book The Great Controversy by Ellen G. White to the public school system on the island of Grand Bahama. The presentation was made by Desri Forbes, Education Director of the North Bahamas Conference, in April to Kathy Forbes, the association's president, along with other executive officers. Members of the association will distribute the books in their various schools on the island. Kathy Forbes expressed her gratitude to the conference officials and the Education Department of the Atlantic Caribbean Union Mission for the donation. The books will be placed in libraries, religious studies departments, and in the hands of administration and teachers. She said that one of the objectives of the association is to distribute relevant literature to schools that will enhance teachers' knowledge of Christ. It is hoped that as the book is read, persons will be drawn to Christ. This past weekend in Grand Bahama, a three-day training session was held for those in publishing ministry. The literature evangelists were introduced to the skills needed to go from door to door and spread the word of God through the printed page. Pastor Ricardo Bain, Youth Director of the North Bahamas Conference, and a call porter himself at a young age, shared with the group the spiritual aspects of the individual as a literature evangelist and the purpose of the publishing ministry and profitability in making a successful book sale. As Pastor Bain said, in their past, this ministry has not been given the attention it should have. He gave reference to a quote from Ellen G. White's book, The Call Porter Ministry, under the caption, A Work Second to None, which states that the importance of this work is fully equal to that of the ministry. It is noted that the living preacher and the silent messenger as both necessary for the accomplishment of the great work before us. Tonya Palmer, Publishing Director of the North Bahamas Conference, said the aim of the department is to see that this ministry develops to the extent where it provides an avenue for effective outreach and evangelism in the region. In Adventist World News, over 130 persons witnessed for Christ in an event called I Will Preach for Jesus Stratford in East London. More than 6,000 books were distributed during the outreach and many lives were changed. The organizers are following the message of Matthew 24, 14, which says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. The I Will Preach for Jesus initiative was a powerful day for all who attended. The Holy Spirit moved and impacted not only those walking through Stratford, but also those who shared their faith. Participants said that witnessing to others is the best way to strengthen your relationship with Christ. The group already has plans to take this program to another area of London. So please pray for these efforts and you too can do your part to spread your God's word. Well, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. As you know, on Sunday, we will be celebrating the invaluable contributions that these women make to our society. With official greetings, here is Pastor Paul Scavala, President of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Mother's Day. It is a time when we as children pause in a special and unique way to say thanks to the mothers who have been responsible for bringing us into this world through the power of God's miracle working hands. And so on behalf of the South Bahamas Conference, my administration, and the team here at headquarters, I say a very special thank you to all of our mothers for the wonderful job you continue to do in helping to mold and direct the lives of the children of this nation. I want to encourage you to be faithful in the good times and in the bad times and in the times when you feel discouraged and you wonder if your work is in vain. May God strengthen you and uphold you and keep you in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Again, I say to the mothers a very special thank you and may God richly bless you. This has been your news update on behalf of our production team, especially Laverne Stirrup. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrea Musgrove for Adventist Television.